Hi everyone, Cenexoft here. This is Odroid XU3 Lite uh, development board. I've connected the sail board, a uh, USB, a keyboard, a hub with some RF dongles, uh, Ethernet, the power, I remove for now, I already power off, um, the USB hard drive and the HDMI cable, this is the micro HDMI cable. So now let's, I put the camera here and I connect the power now. Oh. Let's try to adjust. Okay, so we don't have <laughs> eight uh, tags, but they replaced it by an angry Android platform. Alright, and the boot is quite fast. It's booting from the EMMC card. I can't remember if I have 8GB or 16GB one. So this is uh, L Ubuntu, not the uh, Ubuntu, exactly with the Unity. Uh, it's with the uh, L XDE uh, environment. Uh, one of the things you want to do the first time is uh, Okay, install the Android utility. I've done this already, so I'm not sure why I'm asked to do it again. So you are, when you do the first time, you have to input the password, and the password is Android, O-D-R-O-I-D, everything in lowercase. I didn't need to configure Ethernet, it's automatic when you connect the cable, if you are using DHCP. Okay, so while it's updating here, I go through uh, some of the program installed, like the accessory with the file manager, calculator, the terminal. Uh, LibreOffice Smart is something I added separately. The Arduino IDE is pre-installed. Uh, because they have some add-on boards. For Ethan internet, no, let's have graphics. They have a document viewer, empty paint and simple scan pre-installed on LibreOffice, I installed separately. Internet is all pre-installed, Chromium, FileZilla, Firefox, Pinging, ZSV transmission and X11 VNC server. On Office, by default, they have AbbeyWare, document viewer, numeric, and I installed the LibreOffice things. For programming, I have two more options, sound and audio. You have various uh, options, including XBMC Media Player, as we will see later. It's full uh, OpenGL ES and VPU acceleration and some other system tools. Uh, so actually, I'll start the LXD terminal first. And run HTOP. Okay, I'm using a higher mouse, so sometimes it's not always easy to use. Always on top, because my mouse is not working, and I put it here to have a look. Okay, so this is the Arduino ID. I will not use it more. I close it. And this is the Android utility. So you have different options. You have something called HDMI configuration, and they tell you to go to media, boot, and boot.ini to configure it. I explained this in another post you can check on cnexsoftware.com. And you have options to update the kernel and firmware. I haven't tried it yet. Oops. Exit. And you can also install update XBMC, but it's not implemented there. And this one, resize your root partition, you will want to do it uh, right after you you flashed uh, the firmware. Otherwise, you will uh, just have mm, a 4 gigabyte in your storage device in total, and maybe 300 megabyte, 500 megabyte free. I've done it already, so I don't need to do this. And they have some other options I haven't tried. So let's try some other programs. So let's start LibreOffice. 
we see how fast it boots it's quite amazing for our platform how responsive uh, the system is okay and in office if i go from text let's make it bigger oh. boom so we can see so this one is working it loads very fast thanks to the e mmc and let's go to internet testing chromium all right let's start by going to cnxsoftware.com Open several tabs. Okay, go to the next page. Same video as I used. Uh, with a Yugus UM3, and we'll see the difference. So the five, the I mean, I have, I have six tabs now. It's quite okay, and we can see the embedded video here. I click play. So this is. Okay, I have to move this a little, and this is uh, 360p, I'm just playing very smoothly. So now let's move to YouTube, and it's on buffering, and now it's still uh, 380p, I will switch to 480p for now, and go full screen. And check the stats for notes and you can see it's not dropping any frames and it's pretty good except sometimes uh, we can see tearing all right and after let's try 1080p this is vp9 codec so it, it has to be uh, it has to be software decode. Uh, so the system uh, starts to suffer a lot. It cannot, it cannot put many, uh, many dropped frames. So, okay. Uh, let's go to the home of YouTube. Maybe I try another video, sports video, and I'll be lucky uh, to get some MP4. Or okay, this one is MP4, 360. There are better options. Okay, they have 1080p. Okay, let's go. And I can try full screen. The CPU usage is quite high at this resolution and it's dropping frames so it's still hard to play videos in youtube try uh, some flash I'll go to Facebook facebook.com to play a flash game that would be Sandy Crush Saga uh, this is Chromium right 
So uh, sometimes people install the paper flash library, but it's not pre-installed uh, in this image. So I haven't tried myself yet. So it's something uh, that the image needs to be improved, or you can uh, try by yourself. So uh, this system supports 2D, 3D uh, GPU acceleration. So I open a new window. And I'll start ES2 Gears. Enter. Alright, I have to move the auto. Ooh. Okay, CPU usage is not too low, too high. And uh, you'll see when you start, there will be EGL version 1.4 MIGARD. And MIGARD is the archi architecture of the uh, Mali 600 GPU. So, no problem here. And if I switch to full screen, it's extremely smooth as well. And you'll see, yeah, in a window, 140 frames per second, and full screen, maybe a little lower. So, okay. And finally, let's try XBMC in Ubuntu. Most of the time, it doesn't work in uh, ARM systems, Linux ARM systems, but this one is, is good. Ah yes, the so user interface is 720p. Uh, yeah, my, my TV can only support 720p with this board. My TV is full HD, 1080p, but I don't know why with this board can only support 720p, 60 hertz. So user interface is fairly smooth and the kernel is recent, it's 3.10.58 plus. Alright, so uh, let's play a video uh, on my hard drive. There are four partitions, even better, of, uh, better FS is mounted, so I cannot go inside the directories, I don't know why. So I play from NTFS and I play Big Bug Bunny 1080p surround AVI. It's a 1080p video. H.264 and as you can see the frame rate is perfect most of the time it is perfect and the CPU usage is very low that means it's definitely hardware decoding so that's definitely a plus compared to rock chip uh, platforms Yeah, now I exit. That's all I wanted to show in this video. Let's log out and try to shut down. That's it. Shut down. Thank you for watching. You may want to read the link. Uh, to check the link below for a little more details on cnxsoftware.com. Bye-bye.